Hi guys, so uh, we were not able to take the live session because of the bandwidth issue at my place. So we are again here. Again, again, we'll be talking very crisp 10 minute session on what you should do a day before your J advance paper and uh, what you should do on the final J advance day. Okay, so the first part of the video is what you should do today. That is, it's already five right now and uh, you are supposed to take the exam at nine in the morning tomorrow. So I would say, please stop studying. So if you are studying at this point of time, it's not going to benefit you at all, at all, right? So leave it, enjoy, right? So best thing that you can do right now is that you can go and relax yourself. So whatever thing that you feel will help you in relaxation. So for example, a movie uh, or a comic series, uh, or let's say hanging out with friends, going for uh, a, din a light dinner with the family, whatever, uh, please do that. Uh, but do not go on with a physical game, for example, cricket or football, because there are chances, a, a slight probability that you might get uh, injured while playing. So don't do that physical uh, thing. But apart from that, please stop studying. Please stop worrying about what will be your rank tomorrow. Okay, so I, uh, when we were taking a live session uh, just a few minutes back, so people were too much worried, sir, how much marks one should score, how much rank should I get uh, to get into IIT Delhi or let's say IIT Bombay. At this point of time, this is not the right thing to do. Your only attention should be that you have worked hard for two years or let's say three years if you are a dropper. Now it's chance, it's, it's your opportunity to reap it up. And the best method of doing that is to be very free from here as well. Okay, so if you are too much overloaded in here, that you have to score, 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 otherwise you will not get rank, rank, rank. So obviously you are not going to do well at the exam tomorrow. Okay, and the next thing that you should do is, please sleep on time. That is what I am advising you at this point of time. Please sleep on time. Make sure that you get to bed by 10.30, not late by then. Because for nine o'clock in the morning exam, you need to get up at six, before, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, move toward the center by 7.15 or 7.30. Okay, so sleep at 10.30. Why I'm saying that you should now start enjoying? Because this will help you get proper sleep in the night. If you're still studying and you try and directly go to bed at 10, you will not be able to sleep. Please don't try it. I have, all, I have myself tried it at my time and I failed. So I know how bad it is, right? So you don't want to miss the chance of getting into IIT just because you didn't sleep properly a day before. Uh, that's the worst thing that could happen to you. All right. So now coming to the D-Day, so the other part of the uh, section is that what you should do on your uh, final day. So for example, now you are sitting in the examination hall, you, are, you will be given the answer sheets or the question paper 10 minutes before 9, right? So for just reading the instruction. The thumb rule for IITJ is that you have to read the instructions very, very carefully. Why? Because IITs are very notorious in asking questions of different categories. For example, you have single choice, you have multiple choice, single digit, comprehension, matrix match, uh, assertion reasoning might come in again. So you, please do not go with a preset mind. So just to cut short, people do not make a pre-planned strategy. So for example, if I have advised you not to study at this point of time, many students start preparing strategies that they will do this the uh, on the day, uh, test day they will follow this strategy. So there should not be any fixed strategy that you should follow at this point of time. Rather, what we should do, we should go with a free mind that uh, whatever might come in the exam, we will see it at that point of time. So coming back to our exam time. So now we are given the question paper. First thing to do is read the marking scheme very, very carefully. So for example, last year, the multiple choice question was having plus four and minus two. Minus two is a huge negative marking, right? You cannot just, just, you can, if, so I have students who came to me after the exam telling me, sir, they didn't know about this marking scheme, the entire paper one and paper two. And obviously this hampered their chances of getting into IIT. Okay. So please read the marking scheme. If we talk about just uh, the types of questions that are there and which one, according to me, you should attempt first. So let's say if there's a single choice exam, uh, question, right? Where only one of the answers would be correct. So generally it's of the category plus four, minus one or plus three, minus one. You should start with that only. These are one of the things which you can easily score. Uh, of the multiple choice that I would say would be the last of the option that I would, I would love to try. 
because obviously the dicey point is that you have to attempt all the four answer options which makes the question a bit lengthier when you try to solve it because you have to check for all the four options okay and easiest of them um, according to me is the single choice oh uh, sorry the single digit answer that is the uh, subjective based questions that are there most of you will think that subjective questions are lengthy they might be tough because they are subjective uh, it's not true uh generally they are solvable they might be a bit calculative but yes they are pretty much solvable so i would give them a preference before your multiple choice even i would give much more preference to the comprehension based questions than your multiple choice so if i have were to solve my question paper tomorrow uh, i would head in this direction that single choice integer based comprehension based and multiple choice if this is the category that iit asks tomorrow okay coming to the uh, question category that uh, what should be solved uh, and uh, we just talked about it though and if we just talk about what section or what subject should be attempted first again this is a per very personal choice so i would have attempted chemistry first because this gives me a very good insight that i have covered a subject in let's say 40 minutes which gives me a relaxation in the examination it relieves my anxiety that i have now 2 hours 20 minutes to solve two subjects one subject is done and also that you will be getting some marks in chemistry so you are pretty confident yes i have at least scored this much marks uh, which will give you a boost of confidence again if you are weak at chemistry so the, doesn't matter i would still advise go with the chemistry so people uh, they they are kind of students who generally leave in organic chemistry do not worry so you still have organic chemistry and physical chemistry to target just plainly target them so leave the inorganic chemistry so for you the target is much simpler rather than devoting 40 minutes on chemistry now you just need to devote 30 minutes and get through the chemistry section we just come about uh, we will talk about uh, this cut off thing that how much marks per subject you should score and what should be total aggregate score so that you qualify for iit je advance just a minute later okay so the strategy would be again that if you start with chemistry uh, maximum time that you have to give to chemistry is 40 minutes then you can uh, do any of the physics or maths for physics you should take one hour for maths you should take one hour uh, let's say 5 or 10 minutes you are still left with 15 minutes for those 15 minutes that is the time that you should go back to the questions which you think you will be able to solve but you will not able to solve at that point of time but believe me you will be able to solve in those 15 minutes because that's at that point of time your brain really works very very fast right very very fast okay and uh, it might be also the possibility that you would have gained some confidence because you have already covered 2 uh, hours 45 minutes of the paper please do not go by the thing that uh, you are not able to solve three questions in a go or five questions in a go and you start feeling depressed so this is the very common thing that happens at the iitj advance so you start solving the questions in the uh, order that is given in the exam let's say question 1 question 2 and question 3 and you are not able to solve all the three then you start thinking yourself that paper is tough man and i think i am not prepared and uh, i'll not be able to score my rank will not come i will not be able to get into iit this was my dream and all those kind of feelings will start seeping into you please don't do that you are jeopardizing your chances of getting into iit please don't do that so what you have to do is it is quite much possible that you will not be able to solve first three or first five questions or let's say um, any five questions in a go doesn't matter now coming to the cut off that i was talking about a bit earlier so the cut off sectional cut off so su subject cut off of clearing iitj advance is only 10% so for example if it's uh, if they ask chemistry let's say of 60 marks you just have to score 6 marks to clear the section cut off of chemistry so there is a sectional cut off also in iitj advance which was not there in jee mains so it might be possible that you qualify for iitj advance on a aggregate basis so aggregate means on a some total basis but you are disqualified because you have not scored the sectional cut off or the subject cut off so the subject cut off is just 10% which is pretty pretty less so even if you people who say that they are uh, this is very generic question when people ask sir my chemistry is weak which is a very rare thing to do but there are people who say that their chemistry is weak because they are not good in inorganic uh, and uh, organic also so just imagine you have just to score 6% 6% is nothing right so you can easily score that so don't miss out on that so if you are not able to score 5 or 6 questions uh, at a stretch 
Your target is to just clear the sectional cutoff, right? Believe me, IIT J Advanced is a very, very different ball game as compared to all the other exams. So, if I have to give you an idea of what was the total percentage of aggregate cutoff, basically, it was just 20%. So, if you have scored 20% marks, you will be said qualified for IIT Advanced. You will get a rank at IIT Advanced. So, it's that simple. So, you just have to score 20% marks, which is you wish you you don't go prepared by mind in that way right you always go with the philosophy that we are going to totify the paper right for gang yeah paper this may have sat percent a C percent paper marks like hanging that does not go that way so you just need to score 20 percent and 20 percent is nothing man what we are asking 20 percent is nothing but believe me in the exam it's that difficult because we do not think on that basis so 20 percent was the criteria uh, in 2016 I would say try and target 40% or let's say 45% uh, in the advanced paper to get a very good rank. So if you have a 40% marks at IIT advanced, believe me, you are assured of getting a very good IIT or let's say the older IITs for sure. That should be the target. So even if you are weak in any subject or let's say any topic, now you know that you cannot say that the paper is tough because you are not able to solve 5 questions. You just need to score 40% marks which is very easy, right? Now coming to the next part. So, you will have a two hours break. That's the last thing that I want to talk about in this uh, video. So, the two hour break is actually the decider break or the deciding point that you are going to get selected or not. So, what generally the trend is or what generally the people do or the students do that when they get a two hours break and they start rethinking that what went wrong in the paper one or they start thinking of the questions that were there in the paper one they could have solved like that. They are a chavay se kableta to ho jata. Oh shit, miss ho gaya. Or they start, you know, equating the paper with one of their friends who has the same center. Please don't do this activity. This is going to completely ruin your paper too. Believe me on this, right? Either it will ruin your or the one who is uh, discussing the paper with uh, you. Please don't do that activity. Sab se achhi cheez kya hai? In those two hour of break that you will get, relax yourself. You have exhausted your mind. It's now time to get some energy back so that you can your mind can again work for three more hours, which is crucial. So take a very simple lunch. Uh, don't go for a heavy lunch. Don't go and enjoy three or four chapatis. Please don't do that. Have a very 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 uh, minimal lunch. Let's say or idli or a dosa, whatever you feel like, and a very light energy uh, energy drink. A glucose water will be great tomorrow because it's very really hot and humid conditions out there. So just have a glucose water. Have a very light food and relax in the AC. So if you're coming up with parents, uh, sleep in, try to sleep or take a quick nap of 30 minutes in your car. Or maybe you can just go on in an, any restaurant and enjoy the uh, uh, AC over there. Because it's it's really hard out there. And please, please, again, I'm requesting you all guys, don't think about paper one. Your energy should be that, you should think like that you have never given any paper in 9 to 12 duration. You have come for this day just to write the second paper from 2 to 5. And all the strategies that we applied earlier in 9 to 12 examination have to be applied again in 2 to 5. And again, do not have any predefined strategy that you will be uh, scoring well in this subject. You will score in well in this subject. Believe me, IIT Advanced is that kind of paper where everything can change. Everything can get bottled up. So, uh, the last thing that we wanted to talk about was that Yes, uh, there is a lot of uh, anxiety among the students that IIT Madras is going to take the conduct the exam tomorrow. So, what is going to happen? Uh, IIT Madras, obviously, everybody knows that is uh, famous for its uh, quantitative skills. So, we expect that mathematics section would be a bit different from what it was in the last uh, uh, six years because the last exam that IIT Madras made was in 2010, which again uh, was difficult in terms of maths. So. Expect maths to be tough and it is not necessary that maths we are tough bolte hai, to question tough hi hoga. it might be calculated. So given the time frame that you have a tough question can be categorized in two ways either it is really tough or it is calculated because if it is calculated then it's also tough because you have limited time frame remember and do not get bogged down by this. So I say that if IIT Madras, bana hai, IIT Guwahati, bana hai, IIT Delhi, bana hai, it doesn't matter who the exam setter is. What matter is just those 40% marks, which is very easy. So even if they ask tough maths or let's say tough physics, 
you know how to score from the other two subjects so that is how your philosophy should be so even if you are let's say very good at maths your best subject is maths and the tomorrow exam comes out to be difficult specifically for maths your target is you have to score well in chemistry and physics you have to compensate for maths in chemistry and physics that is your target okay so this is the simple strategy this is all what i have to tell you at this point of time please stop studying enjoy bahut padhai kar liya yaar kitna padhai karu theek hai so you have done your best in your life please stop thinking about what were your past results what were your ambitions whether you will be able to do them or not succeed success it's all we'll see it later just enjoy the phase enjoy the paper tomorrow see to it whether you can apply the things that you have studied to uh, for 2 years or 3 years just enjoy that phase okay my best wishes are always with you all uh, i just hope that each and every maths on go student goes and cracks the exam big and so that we can show to the world that free quality education can prove and do wonders in terms of results as well right so i'm just hoping that tomorrow exam is beautiful for you and you come out with flying results uh, yeah, you know tomorrow so we will get back in touch again uh, you can just uh, write me an email or uh, describing your experience of what was the exam uh, which we will uh, definitely take as a new initiative where i will be asking every student to write how you feel about taking the exam so that they, we can uh, share that kind of feeling with the uh, juniors who are going to write the exams in 2018 right chill that's the only advice that i wanted to give stop studying enjoy right now go crack the exam tomorrow come tomorrow we'll again discuss uh, how is the paper all about okay best of luck best wishes lots of love from my side thank you